All right, what's going on? It's Coach Tim with Creative Dynamic Sports, and today we'll be talking about glute activation before starting your leg day, before doing your squats, before doing your deadlifts. This is an exercise that you can use before your workout and also after your workout to really isolate and target the glutes. Let's go ahead and dive in. So I'm using a monster band and I've connected it to the door. I think it's about a half inch thick. And what I'm gonna do is go ahead and wrap it right around my waistline. And I'm gonna go ahead and step out. Now the first thing that's gonna happen is you're gonna feel the resistance but it's going to naturally take you into a hip hinge. Once you walk out far enough, you'll feel the band go ahead and pull you back into a hip hinge, all right? So allow the hip hinge to happen naturally and go ahead and go there, all right? Try to maintain flat back posture, set yourself up, okay? My feet are shoulder width apart, but you could go a little bit closer if you want to. You don't really have to go feet together. So we're just gonna go shoulder width, Get a nice base. All right, here, so I'm stepping out, letting the band take me into a hip hinge, flat back, and all I'm going to do is go ahead and bring my hips through and squeeze the glutes, okay? So I'm gonna let the band pull me back into my hip hinge, flat back, and squeeze my glutes at the top. We can step out a little bit more. Natural, naturally let the hip hinge happen here, and squeeze, and here, and squeeze, all right? So that's a way to target both glutes at the same time, but let's talk about how to isolate them. So we're gonna go into a split stance, and we're gonna step out and let the band naturally um, take us into a hip hinge. So we're, gonna, we're in a split stance, all right? So we're gonna target this right leg, the leg that I have back is the leg that we're gonna target. So I'm gonna bend the knee, and I'm gonna allow the band to take me into a natural hip hinge, okay? So we're here. And now I'm gonna bring myself forward and lock the back leg out, locking the knee out. When I go into the hip hinge, I'm gonna allow the knee to bend, the back leg, okay? Once I go ahead and thrust through, I'm gonna lock the leg out, squeeze the right glute, isolation. Nice way to really make sure you're getting active on both sides. Hip hinge and pull yourself forward. And squeeze, hold. Good five seconds, two to three seconds, that's good. And here, and drive, lock them out. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch. Go ahead and switch. Remember the leg that you put back, that's the leg that you're gonna isolate. Step forward, allow the band to take you into a hip hinge. Keep the knee slightly bent. Here, I'm gonna step forward a little bit more. Hip hinge here, knees bent, and we're gonna thrust forward and lock the back leg out, squeeze the glute, hold, pause, and back into the hip hinge, letting our knee bend again, and squeeze. Bring yourself forward, thrust, and squeeze. Really isolating the left side, really keeping the glutes active. And now I'm ready to go directly into my squats, my deadlift, my lower body exercise, just to make sure everything is active and everything is working properly. So. Hey, that's an exercise you guys can throw in to your leg day routines or any day, a recovery day, just to make sure those glutes are firing, they're active, and you're recuperating the correct muscles for the exercises. Hey, it's been Coach Tim with Creative Dynamic Sports. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel, leave a comment, drop some feedback. Have a great day, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.